Hello, this is Kent C. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do a, um, a Dell Server BIOS uh, firmware upgrade. Okay. So this is actually on A07. I wanted to go to this. I'm actually using um, Hiren's Boot CD. Uh, I'm running uh, the Mini XP, as you can see. See if I can actually pull that up here. Oops. Well, let me just go to the desktop. It'd be easier to show you there, guys. Okay, so I went to the Dell site first. Okay, you go there, and uh, you're gonna see something like that. Okay, that's the newest one. Or you could do a floppy. Fortunately, I don't have one, so. Go ahead and throw that in there and my computer. Just want to show y'all. There you go. See that? So that's what I'm using right now to do my upgrade. Force to. Okay, so let's just scroll through this. Go ahead and do the install. So it's calculating right now. The version in this of this pack update package is newer than the currently installed version. You see that? So it's going to tell you right there. If you'd like to continue with this upgrade. The answer is yes. Make sure you keep your power on. Okay, you see that what it says right there? Let's go ahead and hit yes. Okay, and what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and close out that, that's what we used, like I said guys. Do what it said. We're gonna res we're gonna restart it. See, there you go. Something to BIOS update right now. Like I said, guys, this is for a Dell PowerEdge uh, 1750, as you guessed already. I'm trying to uh, update it, you know, on an old legacy machine. Okay, so it looks like it went through the upgrade, and boom, there you go, new version ready to go. New version ready to go. We'll go ahead and jump in there, and that's actually how you do a PowerEdge 1750 uh, upgrade if you are in trouble. Well, the tools used, the tools used, uh, once again, do not put it in OS install mode in the BIOS, okay? Just go ahead, get a Hiren's Boot CD, load it to Mini uh, XP, okay, so you have a Windows environment, and then uh, load the EXE. Uh, it, unfortunately, this didn't recognize my USB, so what I did is I actually uh, configured the DHCP, and then I went on the internet itself, grabbed the file, loaded it from the operating system, and uh, there's your firmware now upgraded. Uh, this is Kent C. Thank you very much.